Boujou, welcome to another episode of Indian Way with Johnny R, the podcast that records live from the southern shore of the mighty Red Lake. I'm your host, Johnny R, obviously. And today is, I'm not sure what day it is, because we're about, uh, what are we, 10-ish, 14 days into uh, quarantine since our kids tested positive for coronavirus <clears throat> last week. So I think we're, our last day is Thursday the 6th. So we've been, we've been here for uh, <laughs> quite a while now. Every, everybody's doing well, you know. Um, we only we had five five of our kids tested positive, and fortunately, only two of them had um, uh, symptoms that were were concerning. So, um, and those two have have gotten over them. So, you know, we tested them. Well, actually, my wife my wife is doing it all, and they were tested yesterday, and. They seem to, uh, you know, just the, the five that were uh, tested positive and the other three, four, including my 15-year-old son, they tested negative. So and my wife and I also tested negative. So that is, uh, we are on the right track where we're getting out. Uh, not that we're going to, you know, get out and party and, go act up when we're off of quarantine, but it'll be nice to, you know, just to get out and uh, stretch your legs a little bit, even though I've been out um, the last couple of times, you know, I have, I've had to go out for emergency, not emergency, but, you know, um, supply runs. And, you know, like I said earlier, the, the, uh, uh, what is it? The COVID um, tracing team. Uh, gave us the okay because my, both my wife and I are fully vaccinated and had our booster shot. So we were given permission to go out if necessary, which I've done. And I'm back from another run today. So, but um, yeah, that's, we're doing good here. Uh, we've all survived each other's bullshit. And it was, it, it was, it was quite the test. You know, eight little ones. My 15-year-old son, um, he's being the big brother, man. You know, he's... <laughs> I used to do that with my nephews all the time, too. It just get them riled up and, and head out. <laughs> so, but, you know, that's everybody's everybody's feeling good. Everybody's... Um, we went outside for a little bit today. They, they were cheering me on while I was... Uh, took another drive on my my um my drone so <clears throat> we were all outside got a little cold but we came back in after 15 20 minutes so but yeah kids are doing good me and my wife are borderline crazy but you know we're we're hanging in there we we're just about uh off of our uh quarantine you know it'd be good to, for the kids to get out you know they haven't seen anybody and i think uh I got off work on the 20th uh, and I was having a, uh, um, you know, winter break from school. And then my kids uh, came home on the 22nd. So I've been pretty much home with them since the 22nd. And then about, I think Christmas day or the day after Christmas, our, our first one tested positive. And then a couple of days after that, our four others tested positive. So we've been home by ourselves, just us, for what is that 22 is that 10 plus 14 yeah 14 days you know 14 days we've all been home alone and so if when if you see us out you know don't make any sudden movements man because it's going to be quite the um the adjustment getting back out in public you know you know my kids have just been home with me and my wife and their big brother jackson and it's uh well okay maybe not that bad they're not going to be feral or anything, but you know, they're, it's going to be a while has, has been a while since they've, they've seen anybody outside of us. So, 
but <clears throat> hopefully they go back to um, daycare Friday, maybe. Um, I know school started back up this week, and I figure you know just give them give them the the rest of the week off and let them start strong Monday. So that'll be our plan. And actually, no, we're we're done Friday, or I don't know. I don't remember how that goes. My wife has all the information, but we are home. I think we get out third Friday. We get out Friday, I think. So, yeah, we're going to be home until then. And just, uh, I don't know. We'll we'll do something. We'll have, you know, a, a release into the wild party or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll think of something cool. But until then. It's just um, us and the kids till till then. But you know, there was a a, a big um, not a huge, but you know the the numbers have been going up. There's an update from the tribe today where there's 89 positives in the community, and you know people are blaming it on the the powwow. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. It was definitely the holidays, man. The holidays did, I, I'd say the holidays played a huge part in the, the the increase in numbers, you know, Christmas and then maybe New Year's add a little. But yeah, there's just, you know, again, there's no way to, uh, no way to know how, how or why, well, you know, respiratory illness is, is, is hard to, uh, you know, I'm going to just, Say it, you know, respiratory um, virus is hard to contain and it, it was going to get out. It's going to be, you know, it might get hit a little bit harder this time with a lot more positives. But, you know, from what I've been hearing, you know, reading is that the uh, uh, Omicron isn't as is, um, uh, deadly, you know, it's not a, you know, yeah, I, I shouldn't even say that. I'm no expert. I'm no scientist. I'm no uh, doctor. Or I haven't done anything. But, you know, you go by what the experts say, and that's pretty much all I've done. You know, that's all I could do because, you know, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go open up a uh, medical book, even though I do have one. I have a Harvard science or what is it called? Harvard Medis school, Medis Medical School book back there. And I'm not gonna dig through that thing to try and uh, sound smart to everybody. I'm just I'm I'm going with the flow, man. I'm going, you know, I'm following the the leaders that uh, you know the professionals. I'm doing what you know their recommendations, and it's been so far so good for us. You know, got my uh, vaccination, my booster. You know, me and my wife did that. My older kids did that too. So we're we're just going by recommendations. So I just hope everybody. You know, it's up to you, though. You know, you're growing, you're an adult, and it's up to you to decide what's best for you. But it has, you know, the, the vaccinations and the booster have been shown to uh, give you a better shot. So <clears throat> I myself, I am fortunate that uh, the heat, my, my family is able to, um, has been able to fight this off and without really any, um, you know, uh, complications you know we're very fortunate that we haven't suffered um critical you know haven't suffered critically you know so that's uh you know we're very fortunate that we are able to um talk about this in a positive way again poor choice of words and no, I can do, all we can do is think about our family, you know, me and my wife and our kids, and we just do what's best for them and assume everybody else is going to do what's best for their kids. And that just uh, pretty much um, pretty much where we're at right now. And, you know, again, we're seeing a lot of familiar faces in the obituary, a lot of younger people in the you know showing up in the obituaries and it's it is it is quite the concern you know addiction along with this uh, virus and um it just seems like a really tough time 
no, it is a tough time for the Red Lake Nation. And when our people are struggling, you know, afraid, you know, unsure of what is coming, there needs to be leadership to guide us. And fortunately, everybody is doing, again, what's best for their family. And that's just what uh, is going to get through, get us through this. And so we should be proud of ourselves. The Red Lake Nation should be proud of itself. We didn't rely on, uh, you know, we couldn't rely on leadership to, uh, I don't know, maybe they did, maybe, I don't know. I just, uh, a lot of our information when we needed it came from the contact tracing team and that's just where we're getting all our information from. So I think the contract contact tracing team deserves a lot of the credit for, um, you know, keeping a lot of us uh, informed, you know, kept, kept us better informed to uh, make the best decisions for, for our family. So we owe a huge uh, thank you to the uh, staff of the con contact tracing team. And because when I first tested positive in October, 2020, you know, they were, they were checking on me every day. Even the, there was a nurse from Beltrami County checking on me every day. And, you know, they didn't have all the answers because it, it was, you know, again, it's a, a virus that um, not much, well, it was known, but, you know, they were just giving me the information that they had and that can be proven. So, it was really um, helpful with me, for me, because I was, man, I was, you know, I think about that isolation I had. I was out there for 10 days on my own by myself and depression got me about six, seven days in. And, <clears throat> you know, I can't imagine if, um, you know, my wife had to go through that or, you know, us and you know one of us and a couple of the kids had to do that and it, it was tough and but we just decided to to ride it out at home all together and you know fortunately we we're able to um we're coming out on the other side of it hopefully but you know we're never out of the woods so we're just uh happy to 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 have been able to to do it all together you know i know not a lot of people are are able to do that or fortunate to do that with their families and it's just um i don't know what i'm saying i don't know where i'm at i'm just i'm just rambling but yeah you, you see you know people want to blame um certain you know uh, decisions that were made and it's just that, that's not going to help anybody but you know you got to bring, but it is bringing awareness to how not to react, not what to do, what not to do during a pandemic, you know, but it's just, we just got to do, do our best to um, help each other along and we're not going to be able to get through this pointing fingers, you know, we got to stick together you know the nation is uh is a tricky the red lake nation is, is tricky man we just got to be smart do the best for our families and hopefully everybody does the same thing but yeah that's where we're at you know i i'm no scientist i'm not a doctor i don't study this but i i anticipate the the numbers to be going up because the, from what I heard and read that the Omicron, Omicron virus is, uh, is um, highly transmission, transmissible. And that's just, that's just the way science works. It's transmissible and you just got to do your part. Wash your hands, keep your masks on, socially distance. Don't party, you know. I know there was a game today. The Warriors played, and 
There's another game Saturday at the Humanities, the uh, Red Lake Nation College, and school's in session, and it just, I don't know, sometimes it feels like people are just sick of staying home and want to go back to normal, which we all do. You know, a lot of people want to get back to normal, but, you know, we're still in the middle of a pandemic, and we just got to... I don't agree with a lot of things that are going on around here, but what are you going to do? You know, kids need to be educated. They need that social interaction. But on the other hand, we don't want to uh, put any others at risk, you know? So I don't admire the job that tribal council or the school board has. I mean, that's, they, they need to make a lot of, tough unpopular decisions and there's just people like me talking shit well not talking shit but I'm um, sharing my opinions and a lot of people don't like it you know I, I know I know there's people that that, that are sick of my <laughs> sick of my uh, social media output but I don't know I'm I'm not trying to trying to uh, start any trouble I'm just stating my uh, what I what I think and which we all should be allowed to do and you know if i do say something offensive or something that is untrue then i should be called out on it and you know that's the thing about i, don't, I try not to share too much um, unverified information on facebook and i've been caught myself doing that and i'm trying to cut back and but you know I, you go to uh, like the source. That's what you got to you got to consider the source when you're when you hear information, because earlier in the pandemic, there's a lot of people sharing um, on Facebook. Like, you know, they're saying my friend is a nurse, and and he said or she said, and then that just snowballs into a shitload of misinformation. So. Was I saying? I don't know what I'm trying to say, but just gotta stay, stay afoot, stay safe, be smart, wear your mask, sanitize, social distancing, stuff like that. But in other news, I got I got off the phone today, and I've been hired to. Uh, um, Kind of like a producer writer for a, a segment for a um, for a radio station. I'll be putting on a um, a little, I think a live show monthly starting I think February third, and we're still pounding out the details on that. And I will be doing that February third, and then every month after that for the next five months. I so February, March, April, May in june maybe so once a month we'll be doing that so so be on the lookout i'll have more information once i uh read the contract and um but i, I know what, what 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 needs to be done and so that'll be uh monthly and we'll be putting something together for the for the masses so watch out for that and also on january 27th myself and the the res reporter rob fairbanks we will have a screening of our res comedy documentary at bryant Bowl, Bryant Lane's Bowl. Is that what it's called? Bryant. It's on Franklin. Is it Franklin or Cedar? Might be Franklin. Let me double check that. But we will be doing that in January 27th, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Bryant Lake Bowl in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I believe that's on, on Franklin. Let me double check that. Bryant Lane, B R Y A N T, Bryant Lake Bowl and Theater, which is eight eight ten West Lake Street, Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's where me and Rob will be screening our Res Comedy documentary, Bryant Lake Bowl and Theater, eight ten West Lake Street, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Kind of kind of where it all began for me, you know. 
south side Minneapolis, Little Earth, which where I uh, spent the first three, four years of my life. Born in the south side and uh, lived there happily. I'm assuming, well, yeah, I remember some things living down there, living in Minneapolis, running the um, projects with my big 12 hour pamper. I remember those days a couple of the times. Auntie Glenda and uh, my mom and Tiny Ballinger and uh, yeah, all those guys, south side. Mr. Arthur's and uh, the corral. Well, I didn't go into those because I was a baby. Well, I, I hope I didn't go in there as a baby, but I don't know. But yeah, that's where I'll be January 27th. Me and the Riz reporter, Rob Fairbanks, Bryant Lake Bowl and Theater, 810 West. Is that what I said? 810. Well, I'll put the, I'll put the address on here. See, so, yeah, it's right there. Minneapolis, Minnesota, January 27th. And other than that, I'm just, uh, I, I started writing a, a pilot for a uh, TV show. I'm about four pages in, and it's fucking hilarious. I can't believe I, nobody's offered me a writer's job. I'm like, that's probably um, Emmy Award winning, uh, Peabody Award winning, you know, Golden Globe. So be on the lookout for that. That's my... Uh, the, the pilot episode of my uh, TV series I'm writing, so not that ace, but it seems it seems like a lot of fun to keep writing. Just uh, need the time and the 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 ambition, the uh, other stuff that. But anyway, yeah. Anything else, Matt? You know, still trying to do comedy. Johnny R Comedy at Gmail, where you can uh, look me up or um. At the Johnny R on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So uh, I think that's all I got. Me Gwitch for listening, and uh, me Gwitch for those that are watching. And I will, uh, you know, check back in later on this week. Me Gwitch. <laughs>